any point in this session uh, let's learn the concepts of friction first let me introduce uh, what does friction mean so where do this uh, friction exist what uh, what is the reason for this friction first let me explain the definition for that i am considering for that i am considering an example so this is the example so when two surfaces are in contact with each other so that means uh, the upper surface of the book the upper surface of the book and lower surface of the cube so both are in contact with each other so when they are in contact with each other when one of the surface tends to move in one direction then the force experienced by another surface is called friction what does friction mean when two surfaces are in contact with each other so here i have considered the upper portion of the book and lower portion of the cube so these two are in contact with each other when they are at rest that doesn't mean there is no friction when they are in motion so there will be friction and when they are in rest there will be also friction let's see that so to explain the concept of friction i am considering a uh, block on a horizontal surface like this let p be the applied force in this direction when i apply the force p in this direction then the object is able to move along positive x direction so that means the motion is along positive x direction right so when i consider the free body diagram of uh, this block so how it will be when we consider free body diagram so we need to remove all the surface contacts and replace the reaction replace the surface contacts by means of reaction forces for that i am erasing the surface contact and replacing that one by a reaction so this is a block uh, which is on a horizontal surface right so when the block is on horizontal surface it is not able to move in downward direction therefore there will be a reaction in the opposite direction perpendicular to surface as it is perpendicular which is nothing but normal to the surface so that's why it is called as normal reaction perpendicular to surface always weight of the block acts vertically downwards when the force p is applied so the block is able to move in this direction that means motion is along this direction in the opposite direction we will have the frictional force here uh, the body is in the state of rest even after the application of force p i am assuming that the body is in the state of rest so when i consider uh, the equilibrium state we are having two equations in coplanar concurrent force system they are sigma fx is equal to 0 and sigma fy is equal to 0 when i consider sigma fx is equal to 0 the algebraic sum of force components along x direction is equal to 0 when i consider sigma fy equal to 0 the algebraic sum of force components along y direction is equal to 0 when i consider the free body diagram of uh, this figure so there the horizontal forces are p along positive x direction and f along negative x direction minus f is equal to 0 from that p is equal to f which means that uh, when the body is in the state of rest or when it is under equilibrium the applied force is equal to frictional force when i consider sigma f y equal to 0 so in this case a normal reaction acting vertically upwards and weight acts vertically downwards so n is equal to w so which came from n minus w equal to 0 from that n is equal to w so what does it mean when the body is in the state of rest always the applied force will be equal to frictional force right so what is the reason for this uh, frictional force so here i have considered this example right so when i observe the surface it may appear smooth but uh, everything is made up of molecules Uh, when we consider even a finished surface when we observe that one with a microscope so we will be able to observe some microscopic projections over the surface okay so when i consider the horizontal surface here it will be having microscopic projections like this when i consider the lower portion of the block so it will be also having microscopic projections when these two microscopic projections are locked when i apply force in this direction in the opposite direction a resisting force is going to be developed so that force is nothing but frictional force so this uh, frictional force is always uh, proportional to normal reaction so replacing this one uh, with a proportionality constant i can write this one as f is equal to mu into n where mu is called coefficient of friction 
Let's see the relation between applied force and frictional force. The same example I have considered on a horizontal surface there is a wooden block. So we have seen that when it is under the state of rest or when it is under equilibrium. So the applied force P is equal to uh, frictional force F. So I am taking a applied force P on X axis and frictional force F on Y axis. So when I consider uh, applied force is 1 Newton. Suppose if you consider this one as 1 Newton. So then P is equal to F. That means the frictional force is also equal to 1 Newton. When uh, applied force is equal to 10 Newtons, frictional force is equal to 10 Newtons. So when I consider the different values, when I draw a graph, I will get a straight line like this, which is inclined at an angle of 45 degrees. Why? Because if the opposite side and adjacent side are equal, so then I will get a right angle triangle, so which is having an inclination of 45 degrees with base. Here, so when I apply force uh, gradually, so there comes a point where uh, the body uh, attains movement. So I will consider a point, so after that point, so it will be having motion. So that point is called as a limiting point so after that the friction is going to decrease suddenly later it is constant later it is constant so up to this point so when i consider uh, the value of applied force so it will be equal to frictional force and up to this point the object will be in the state of rest that's why it is called as a, a static friction zone And after reaching a, a maximum point, so which is nothing but limiting point, so the friction gradually suddenly decreases and then it, it is a constant, it maintains uniformly. So this is in the case of a, a dynamic, a, a dynamic motion. So that is nothing but a, it is called as dynamic friction or kinetic friction. So this zone is called as dynamic friction zone or kinetic friction zone. So when I am increasing gradually the force, uh, there comes a stage where the after applying certain force, if I increase one newton further more, so it will uh, move, it will move, it will have motion. So that point is called as limiting point. That point is called as limiting point. At that point, the friction will be maximum. So this is a maximum amount of friction which is also called as a limiting friction. Limiting friction is nothing but the maximum value of frictional force experienced by the body which is nothing but limiting friction. So in this we have seen static friction zone kinetic friction zone, limiting point and limiting friction. So we have considered the graph between applied force and frictional force. I have drawn a graph by considering applied force on x axis and frictional force on y axis. So when I consider like that, so the body is, when the body is under the state of rest, always the applied force is equal to frictional force. By considering different values, I have drawn a line. So when I consider like that, so I have got a straight line which is inclined at an angle of 45 degrees. So in this zone, the object will be under the state of rest. This is called static friction zone. After that, the friction uh, suddenly decreases. After that, it maintains uniformly. So that is called kinetic friction zone or dynamic friction zone. So at this point, so it is uh, changing its state. So that point is in nothing but limiting point. So at that point, so the friction will be maximum. That friction is called as limiting friction. Limiting friction is nothing but the maximum value of uh, frictional force experienced by the body.